how to remove the APIM off of the screen of your radio. This one here came off of a, I believe a 16 or 17 foot edge, I believe it was. I and mean, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off and put it into my new vehicle. So what you see here, if yours already attached to it, on the vehicle with all the wirings on it, I believe it's the black one you'll use, you'll have like a little tab along here on the connector, you want to go and disconnect that. And on this one here, you'll have like a little push pin with a little lever. You want to push that little pin in while pulling the lever away from it to disengage it. And over here, you'll have your GPS antenna. You can see already uh, a little notch here. You'll have a little tab. You want to just squeeze it and kind of wiggle it and pull it right off. It'd be, it would look similar to this one here. So you'll have the top tab up front and you just want to wiggle it. This one here will, will require two hands. So what you want to do is push in that tab and go ahead and pull off. All right, mine was a little bit stubborn. I had to push in the tab while taking a little flathead screwdriver, just kind of between and just kind of wiggle it side to side along the edging of it to break it free. I had to unplug this one, try to wiggle it, it wouldn't come off. But this one here, it has a connect, a uh, little pin right there. You just squeeze that in, just pull right off. So since this one's gonna stay in there, I'll go ahead and leave it in with this one here. So after you get all your wiring disconnected, you're ready to take the APIM off. So what you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver. You'll have, uh, I believe it's three or four screws. So two right here and one right here. That's all there is. So just three Phillips head screws that you want to take off. After you get the screws out, then all you're going to do is just lift kind of up a little bit. You may have to wiggle it around to free it from its little cubby hole. There's a little lip along the sides of it where it kind of lines into place along here I believe that's the little notch here yeah you can see a little dip right there I think that's where it goes here then to put it back on I gotta do is just I line up the holes same thing with over here just want to kind of make sure you know, line up there's a little squishy pad on I don't believe mine had it but all you just have to do is try to get the holes lined up and it should just kind of sit in there once when you're into place. Then go ahead and put your screws back in place and go and connect all your connectors onto it. And there you have it. And that's how we move the APIM off of the screen. Thanks for watching.